As of January 29, 2024, Elon Musk has officially implanted the first Neuralink brain chip into a human brain. And so that got me thinking, I was like, tech is headed in a scary direction, if you ask me my opinion. And so I was like, you know what? There's all these AI advancements, tech advancements. I'm gonna look into some of the future tech that is going to be very popular in the coming years. I just feel like we're moving farther and farther away from humanity and technology. It's kind of a distraction, not to get too esoteric, but I think it makes our lives a lot easier, but we've also lost a lot of human connection. And I feel like people, I don't know, I'm going down like a whole thing, but let's get into, let's get into the tech advancements. And I'm going to break some down that I thought were the craziest. And these are going to be a thing in the very near future and emphasis on very, because even just in the past year, the way AI has advanced has been insane. And more and more advancements are, have already been in the works that you may not have heard of. And they're hundred percent going to be popping up in the next five to 10 years, if not sooner for some of them. Okay, so number one, Space Tourette. Hmm, number one. <laughs> Space tourism. So obviously this is for the very wealthy right now, but it could be just for the average person in the near future where people can basically just book a trip to space like any vacation. And celebrities have signed up to do this. There's companies such as Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, and Amazon's Blue Origin that are all shuttling people to space very expensively, but they're still doing it. Imagine if you're just like, hey, should we go to the Florida Keys or like space? I mean, that'd be pretty cool. This one, I'm not, I'm not that opposed to. I think it'd be really fascinating, to be honest. If I had enough money, I might do it. I just always have wanted to like look at Earth from space. That would be wild. When I was little, there was like a period where I was like, I might become an astronaut. Obviously that didn't happen because I'm sitting here doing videos, but I'd be interested in that. So um, I don't know, Jeff Bezos hit me up. Number two we got, which is kind of in line with the space tour as, why can't I say the word tourism? This is kind of in line with space tourism, but we are talking about the colonization of other planets. And Elon Musk has been trying to do this with Mars and people are basically, you know, climate activists are saying we're destroying our planet and we need some alternatives. And people like Elon are literally looking to other planets to see if we could inhabit them. Even if small populations went and lived in outer space or in a different planet for a period of time, that's like a new thing that could be coming. Just imagine that. If you're like, hey, do you want to move to the US or Mars? I keep saying Mars, but I know Elon's really pushing Mars right now. But what's interesting to me is that Mars is super uninhabitable. And also, would you just be living in like kind of a space station? I feel like you'd have to build these almost indoor like civilizations on these other planets so people could withstand it unless you're wearing suits all the time. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but that's another one that you could be seeing sooner than you think. So buckle up or like just, I don't know wait for it. Number three, we got robots in space and in the workplace. So apparently NASA's already been sending robots to outer space. I didn't know this, but also it's not, no, I kind of did because they already send like spacecraft and stuff that are essentially like sending a robot, but they're sending like human like robots to outer space. Obviously there's a lot less risks. You don't have to worry about them dying. They could withstand more stuff than a human being. And so it's pretty smart, but they're also saying that we're gonna see more and more robots in the workplace, which we already are seeing, but essentially the goal is for robots to replace menial tasks that humans either don't wanna do or that robots could do a lot more efficiently. That also, you know, worries me because it like, I feel like a lot of people will eventually be out of jobs. And then you're just gonna, we're gonna have to shift what types of jobs humans are doing in that case. I mean, even with AI right now, like a lot of jobs have been kinda, you know, feeling it because of AI, like copywriters, stuff that anything like AI could essentially very easily replace and doesn't need to be super personalized. So that's gonna be a thing as well. Another one that they're saying is flying cars. And I would love this. Like, imagine you're just like, hey, wanna go to Walgreens? Okay, girls. These are my friends that I'm making up. I have friends that are like for real. You're like, okay, girls, let's go to, let's hop in the car. And then you're like, oops, there's traffic. Oh no, what are we gonna do? And then you're like, oh wait, I'll just fly there. I mean, how dope would that be? You just push a button, you guys are up in the air, you're chilling, you're like jamming out. Maybe you're listening to some meditation tracks. Actually, don't do that if you're driving. I've done that before, I almost fell asleep, bad idea. But you're just cruising and then boom, land in Walgreens, drift down, park, go in, buy that eyeliner. 
or whatever you're buying there. That would be awesome. But apparently that really is a reality and will be happening soon. Okay, but this is my question. I've thought about this before. If cars are gonna fly, I'm assuming people would then have to have like pilot licenses, right? Because I feel like it'd be a total disaster if you have all these cars in the air and there's no rules. I'm assuming there, I mean, like, are there even lanes? You can't make lanes, it's in the freaking air. That is something I do have questions about, but in reality, I would love to do that. So if you do have any more information about this, let me know. I'm gonna dig into that some more because I don't see how you wouldn't have to have some sort of pilot's license. I just feel like there'd be a lot of crashes up there if there's all these cars doing it. This is a cool one though. Okay, another one, which I kind of like, I kind of hate, I kind of just, I. I don't know how, uh, mm. robot butlers. So imagine you wake up and you're like, oh no, I really want a cup of coffee. I'm so tired, Bernard. And then this robot comes in and like has a cup of coffee for you. Or he already knows that you want coffee every morning or you have to pack for a trip and you can have Bernard do it. I don't know why I've named him Bernard. It just came to me. You would have a robot that could cook for you, clean for you. If you ever saw that movie, I think it was Smart House. I think it was a Disney movie like years ago. This may be aging me. I'm pretty sure they had a robot who would do these types of things for you. And on one hand, I really like it. Like he could water your plants, could walk your dog. He can make you food. Pretty useful, to be honest, if you don't like doing that stuff, or even if you do like doing that stuff and you want to save some time, how cool would that be? Hmm. The thing about Pat is the more time she spends with you, the more she learns. So before long, she's going to know more about you than you know yourself. Well, that, that's kind of creepy, isn't it? But then also, what if Bernard goes rogue and he's like, hey, I'm not gonna listen to you, Sally or whoever his owner is. And he like takes over the house or he starts, I don't know, like stealing shit or doing crazy stuff. So there always is that risk with technology that you don't know if they're gonna always listen to you and just go, they're gonna turn bad. That's my concern with this stuff. Maybe I'm insane. I don't think that's insane. I think people have these thoughts, but I feel very mixed feelings with the, these advancements. Like on one hand, I think they're amazing and so cool. And the other hand, I kind of just want to move to like a farm in Costa Rica with chickens and goats. Another technology that's interesting, I hadn't thought about this before, but wearable screens. So you would literally have like a screen on your arm and you would be able to access almost like a phone and you would be able to access whatever information you wanted. Yeah, that, that'd be, That'd be interesting. That'd be cool. If it wasn't wearable, I'm assuming you'd have to have some sort of chip. I've seen pictures of like a bracelet you'd wear. Again, better than a chip. And you would just be able to access. So like instead of a phone or a computer, you just pull up your arm. Hey, what's the weather? Oh, it's cold. I need to put on a sweater. I think a lot of this technology bothers me because it feels very invasive of our privacy. I think that's really what I'm getting at with when I say it's creepy or, you know, it's just like wearable technology that almost has bonded with you and like as human beings we already have our consciousness and that's you know our higher state our higher being if you believe in god or higher power that's like you know your soul essence and then you're putting these computer type things in you and i just yeah again if you're like spiritual at all i think it it poses a lot of questions and that could be like a whole other episode but that that's kind of where i think it bothers me in that sense but i'd love to hear your thoughts let me know if you feel the same another invention that i think is cool but also a little bit of an invasion of our privacy are smart tooth brushes that would send data directly to our dentist. You know, if you haven't lost for a few days or weeks, like it, it would basically just be sending data of your teeth, how you're brushing your teeth health to your dentist. On one hand, it'd make it a lot easier and you'd really know your, I guess your dental health probably a lot better than you do now. But again, you know, you'd have to like give them permission to do this. It, it just seems again, invasive. And like you're sharing this personal data with an outside person that I don't know. Very cool though. Okay, another one that's kind of in the same realm of the toothbrush are smart mirrors that check your health. So it'd be the specific mirror, you stand in front of it and it would basically scan you to see what's wrong. Kind of creepy, but also kind of amazing. Like if it could scan for cancer or something like heart health you're un you're unaware of, just anything like that, that, I feel like it could save a lot of lives. Really crazy to think about. This stuff is like out of a sci-fi movie, but it's weird because it's so close and some of it's already being done. So that one could be cool in my opinion. I know right now there are full body scans that literally it, it's kind of expensive, but you can, it'll scan your entire body and analyze it and tell you if there's any diseases it's sens sensing or it analyzes like literally everything about you and then it prints out a report and can tell you everything. So instead of sitting in this machine and doing it with this mirror, you would just stand in front of it. It would automatically scan it and then give you the results. 
This is one that I have heard about before, and I think it has been done, but essentially we're talking about smart toilets. Japanese are really into their toilets. I was there. They're phenomenal. They're heated. They talk to you. It's like a whole freaking experience, but this would take it a step further and it would basically analyze all of your shit and urine. So it would just analyze all of that and you'd have an app on your phone and you could see the results. It would send it out, I guess, to your doctor or the company that analyzes it and you would know more about your health, but also I don't know if I want like, like when I go to the bathroom for it to be analyzed all the time. So I, it could be, it could be helpful if you're sick, you have a stomach issue. I don't know, very cool in theory. Also very weird in theory. Another tech advancement would be robotic exoskeletons. And it's essentially like a full body getup you strap on. Think of it as like a, like a jacket or like a back brace, but then it also goes down your legs. And apparently these are already being used by the military, but it would allow you to be a lot more agile or and quick and just give you more strength than you would have normally. It's like a robot added onto your body. We're already doing this with prosthetic limbs. That's been doing, like we've been doing that for a while, but this takes it to a whole new level. And scientists are talking about using these exoskeleton suits on people with disabilities who are having a hard time moving or moving at all. So very cool advancement. But again, we're merging with robots. We're literally merging with robots. Yeah, I thought these were some cool, crazy tech advancements. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know how you feel, but we got some wild times ahead. So strap in.